Historic and Abandoned Places in New Jersey. Video Tours. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. The burial ground should actually be off this way. Kind of a breezy day and very hot and humid so if I sound out of breath now you know why
big concrete slab right here. Nothing to do with the burial ground. Should be a path through the trees right here. Sorry about that, the battery cut out on me. Part of the problem is the heat and humidity is just killing these batteries, and they were never great to begin with. Okay, so let's continue on. kind of a burrow or something. I definitely don't want to know what lives in there. And here it is. Now, as I understand it, not only are John and his family buried here, but so are their slaves, their servants, and I couldn't begin to guess how many other people, but I know entire generations of the family are buried here. So let's go see what it says. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but if you look carefully, you'll notice that the original headstones are actually underneath that big uh, stone block. I'm not exactly sure why that was done, but I know it was done a long time ago. It may have been done because, as I said, not only are the family members, members buried here, but allegedly so are the slaves and servants. And I seriously doubt they would have had their own headstones, so they probably just put up a general marker for all the graves. But yes, if you look down here, you can actually see the old... 18th and 19th century style headstones that make up the foundation of that large block. And you can, they're actually laid in a way where you can still read the names on them, but none of the other information. So that's interesting. I wonder why they did that.
All right, you guys will have to forgive me if I don't kneel down for the rest of these shots. Uh, I'm diabetic and I have poor circulation in my, in my legs, so I almost wasn't able to get back up after that last shot. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to wrap up this portion of the video because, quite frankly, the heat and humidity are starting to get to me. Uh, but I am going to head over and we'll see the innkeep house. And uh, that'll pretty much wrap up this video. I'm sorry it's not longer. It's Like I said, I am diabetic and sometimes I have my good days and my bad days. And this is kind of turning into one of my bad days. So these are the original headstones that I told you about that are actually underneath the current stone block. And now we're going to head over and see the house. So stay tuned. So this is it, guys. This is the John Inns Keep House. Uh, I believe that's the chicken coop. And there you can see the actual house. Now that wraparound porch is actually not part of the original house. That was added in recent years. And this is now the home of the Evesham Township Historical Society. And I don't think they're open today, otherwise I would try to go in and show you guys what the inside looks like, but... Yep, there it is. And as you can see... It's actually in a modern housing development. So there you go, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as time permits, I'll be making more videos like this.
So, take it easy, guys, and until next time.